What's going on everybody? Tyler here with TheScareFactor.com We are here at Indy Scream Park up here in Anderson, Indiana. Uh, one of our other teams came here last year, so it's actually been a couple years since Nora and I have been here, so this is all brand new. Awesome looking. We've got some drone footage for you guys from the Midway here. Very excited to see all the new changes here for 2022. Stick with us here. Let's go check them out. I don't like this. I want to go home. Come on, babe. Don't be such a wuss. Where are we going? You see that old house there? Yeah. Let's go inside. Take the adventure. All right, just got our passes here with this little glow stick thingy that way they know you're coming <laughs> and I think this might just be for media but the whole midway area here is totally changed definitely got the uh, the carnival is or esque type of midway going on here so super excited to see uh, some of the food and stuff they got going on here but we'll uh, we'll get to those eventually for now let's show you some of the haunted houses what you got there, a sledgehammer? Yeah, yeah, that's Mr. Sledgy. Mr. Sledgy, what, what's Mr. Sledgy's job? Uh, he takes care of bad people. He takes care of bad people? Yeah. I understand. That's good. <laughs> now her winds up. Oh, she does wind up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so sorry about the flashing lights, but they do have zombie paintball. This awesome looking bus here. You gotta shoot some zombies when the opportunity presents itself. <laughs> Alright guys, awesome little zombie paintball bus ride there. They got some good sounds on the bus. Uh, and they actually stop you halfway through uh, to re-top you off on ammo. So definitely don't be trigger shy on the zombie paintball bus ride. Alright, first one up here is Mutation. Interesting. Alright, let's go check it out. So once you get into the barn here, you see these openings. That's where they line you up into each of the three attractions. So like this is mutation here, the next one, and then the next one's on further down. So interesting little queue system they got set up here. And all the entrances are from the midway, so. That guy's just got out of mutation. Barely. Barely. We had to find the cure. And we didn't have the glow necklace. No, we didn't. Yeah, we skipped on those this time, but. I can imagine what they'll do to you if they do. So they, everybody, they, they're trying to find the cure. They can't find the cure. Obviously, the, to help them find the, cure. the bugs are trying to mutate and come after us, all this kind of thing. Uh, the whole thing was probably about five minutes long or so for mutation. So very interesting. Lots of little nooks and crannies in the walls, places for them to come out. Some big, big, big critters in there. Yes. And uh, So yeah, very excited about mutation. Let's head on to the next one. All right, so the next one up is Kilgore's 3D Circus. Obviously, it looks like it's going to be clown circusy themed. Let's check it out. All right, just got out of Kilgore's 3D Circus. Sorry, a little wobbly. We're walking, but we're busy walking. Like yeah, me. very disorienting in there. Very good use Especially of uh, the finale, the finale. strobe lights the there. Really good on that one. Yeah. Like yes, and so far this is only haunt number two of the night, but we've noticed a pretty good uptick in uh, like the number of actors and how consistently the scares are coming through and all the haunts. Dialogue. They're all like trying oh, to wild. come out and saying something to us or making a noise, you know. Yeah. And it's all uh, very theme related. It's not just generic, ah, get yeah. out, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. So, so far, some very good stuff going on here at ISP. That was uh, Kilgore's 3D Circus. So, let's head on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's on the end of your leash there? Uh oh. Oh, he's got a ghost dog. Uh oh. Where's he going? <laughs> All right, so the next one here is the Nightmare Factory Blackout. Now, if this is anything like we remember here from a couple years ago, it's one of our favorite blackout haunts. Uh, they've actually got like a rope that goes along the walls and it kind of helps guide you to where you're going because it is pitch black in there. So yeah, let's see what's going on here for 2022. So even as you get into the queue line for blackout, it's freaking dark back here too. <laughs> Spooky. The blackout controlled area. Guess that means we gotta go in there. So they've definitely got the uh, factory vibes going. If you look up here behind me, they've got these big uh, kind of smokestack looking things. Are we next? See how it goes on the inside. All right, so that was the Nightmare Factory. Continues to be a very good blackout haunt. Uh, so they do have a, the reason we like it, they like, they've got the, uh, the rope that guides you all the way through, but then like they also texture the walls a little bit, which is interesting. Very good about using uh, strobes to take your night vision away, especially here at the end, they kind of combine those with uh, the car horns. And then, uh, they're also very good about timing the strobes with some of the, uh, the drop panel scares and things that are coming in the walls. So pretty, pretty, good, uh, pretty good blackout haunt here at Indy Scream Park. Let's head on out to the next one. All right, so that was the three indoor haunts. Overall, very satisfied. Uh, the only gripe I've really got is these uh, queue lines that kind of make you walk all the way back out here to the midway if you just want to turn around and go back into the next one. But that's kind of splitting hairs a little bit, so. Overall, very excited so far. Let's go see what the outdoor haunts are offering. It's the zombie bus. They're gonna run into the people. Ah! Oh, they missed them. All right, next one on the list here is Zombieland Unchained. This one's the apocalypse themed haunt. I remember it being another one of our favorites here at ISP last time we were up here. So let's check them out. All right, so that was Zombieland Unchained. Definitely unchained in there, especially if you get the uh, the glow necklace. I opted for the glow necklace this time. He got taken and away from us like four times. Three or four times, yeah. I had to crawl, I had to sit in chairs and make them do stuff to me. You're gonna have to... I had to let them do stuff to me. <laughs> they make you close your eyes and... Yeah, I, I won't tell you what it is. But you got to see that for yourself. I did have to crawl once. I think I said that already. But uh, so yeah, very uh, it's very junkyard themed. There's a lot of cars and of course zombies everywhere. Blah, blah. So some aggressive ones. Some aggressive. They got some chainsaws there towards the end, kind of a maze section. So lots of chances it's to. Definitely a maze somehow. Joanna and I took every right turn. I think like every correct <laughs> turn. And yeah. We made it out. Yeah. So. Hopefully you guys have the same good luck we did in the maze, but uh, I think you guys need to come try it out for yourself, of course. Uh, last one up is the Backwoods. Anxious to see what the changes are over here. So yeah, let's check out Backwoods. Like the movie. So this line just keeps going and going and going. We made a turn back there. We used to stop back here uh, a couple years ago and they've moved it. You can hear all the people screaming, look, that is pitch black over there in the woods. And we gotta go in there. Wish us luck.
All right, so we just got out of the backwoods. Very interesting. There are some back crazy there. hillbillies back there. Yeah, very uh, <laughs> kind of inbred hillbilly, uh, cannibalistic type of theme. There was one back with there. a fufa, whatever that is, because that's what I came up with. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the thingy in the shower where you scrub your back with it. A, we're thinking it's a loofah. <laughs> well, it might be a loofah. I called it a fufa. Tell us in the comments what the scrubby thing is you get your back with in your shower. <laughs> Well, uh, so yeah, they had a shower scene back there, and he's like, you want to scrub my back? And we're like, no. <laughs> I'm not after looking at that tub in there, no. No, that was a nasty tub. Lots of victims back there, very energetic, uh, good acting back there. A little more spaced out in between the scenes, you know, so you got a little bit more dead space because it's a trail. What, but 500 little jar lights Lots and there. lots of those little jars, yeah. That's all that yeah. lights the trail. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So <laughs> that's a wrap here for Indie Scream Park. Thank you guys for watching all the way to we here to the end. Cakes. We gotta go get it's funnel not cakes. The end yet. <laughs> it's, it's the end for these guys, but we're we not. We're going to get funnel cakes. cakes. So thanks again for watching. Check us out uh, on thescarefactor.com. If you can come here to Indie Scream Park, tell them the Scare Factor sent you. That helps us out a bunch. Uh, we're gonna head on out to the next haunt. Hopefully, we'll see you there. Until then, stay scary. Woo! And today we are here at Indie Scream Park. Yes. Talking with Todd. How's it going, Todd? It's going great. Another famous, exciting year here at Indy Scream Park. For those that haven't been to Indy Scream Park before, give us a big macro overview of what is Indy Scream Park. So Indy Scream Park, we're located in Anderson, Indiana. We have five attractions, and then we also have the Monster Midway, which is actually a sixth attraction of its own here. Inside the red building, we have three indoor haunts. And then we have the two outdoor haunts, again, Zombieland and Backwoods, with Monster Midway being the sixth attraction. Walk through and give us kind of an overview of each of the, uh, the six attractions. Okay, great. So Monster Midway, again, this is a, it's your entertainment. It's your place where you can come, sit, uh, eat, drink, socialize with friends while characters are entertaining you, scaring you, but also interacting with our guests here in the Midway. Inside the red building, we have Nightmare Factory Blackout, which is an old factory that the uh, insects and the rodents have taken over. The workers have all died in there. And so when you're going through that attraction, the biggest draw to that attraction is just in its name. It's blacked out in there. So that, that haunt is um, from two years ago that we put that haunt in. Then you have Kilgore's 3D Circus. And of course, everybody loves clowns. They love a circus when it comes to town. And when Kilgore Circus came to town, they, they just they killed people and, and the bodies were strung out and all of a sudden the, the circus was gone. And so that's what we've been left with now is the under the big top, we've still got the circus. The clowns are waiting for you to come and be mesmerized by the 3D attraction. And if you're lucky, you make it out of the haunt and the clowns don't kill you. <laughs> and then Mutations. Mutations is our third inside haunt. It is an actually, it's an interactive haunt. And that is Omni Labs, and they filed for bankruptcy. The insects have mutated. The doctors and the medical staff have all been infected in that haunt. And again, that's interactive. So when a guest chews, they can wear the glow necklace, and they may be taken away from their group. They may be put into an x-ray chamber or a cryo chamber. Um, might even be some body bags involved in some of that interactiveness. So then you go to the outdoor haunts and we have Zombieland. Zombieland is a outdoor junkyard where the zombies have literally taken over that part of the community. And as you go through, if you're lucky, you're, you're able to make it out before the zombies eat you. That is also an interactive attraction. And so you may be pulled into the dentist chair, you might get a buzz haircut, or you might get left on a bus. So that's a great attraction as well. And then finally, we can't forget, usually the number one attraction at Indy Scream Park is Backwoods. The Backwoods family is here again. They've been with us for years. They're on their own property. They don't like the government. They don't want visitors. So when our guests go through Backwoods and it's new haunt back there this year, they're gonna be interacting with the, the, the redneck hillbillies of the backlands and they're looking for food and those guests might be their next dinner. So tell us what uh, some of the new things are that you've got going on here uh, over the past couple of years. So the last two years, uh, we've spent a lot of investment into the infrastructure of the facility. All new Midway for Bonzo's Beer Garden, 
uh, food. Uh, we've added pizza this year. Um, just wanting to make the whole Midway an, an attraction where people can come, spend the evening, go through the haunts, get scared, but also have food and, and entertainment, beverages here. Um, and then this year, we also did uh, big upgrades in Backwoods and in Zombieland by adding uh, ground cover, uh, rock or decking through those haunts so that the, the guests you know, go through and they still get that outdoor feeling, but in inclement weather, they're not worried about ruining their shoes or you know, their clothing, anything like that. So we've done a lot of that kind of thing to take care of the guests at Indy Screen Park. What changes are you guys most excited about for this year? I'm most excited about just the fact that we're able to experience this whole midway. It's, com it's done, it's complete. We've added pizza. So the guests come out, you know, they're able to come and get a slice of pizza. They're able to get a whole pizza. We have our food uh, uh, vendor that was here in the past several years. He's back. So we just, uh, we just really have that experience for a family or a couple or a group of people to come out, spend the night at Indy Screen Park. We open at 645 the gates. The first haunt opens at 7 p.m. And you can literally come join us for dinner, join us for beverage, the music, the atmosphere of a night out in Anderson, Indiana, Indy Screen Park. Awesome. Sounds good, Todd. Thanks so much for talking with us, and we hope you guys have a great season. Excellent. Thank you very much. Two, one, <laughs> 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 <laughs>